Hi everyone, so today I'm back with another side-by-side -side review comparing these two new launches in Etude House Singapore and this one it's called the Any Cushion it's supposed to be like a cream filter kind of a cushion foundation and this is the AC Cleanup Mild BB Cushion in Natural Beige so these two are in similar shade ranges so I thought I'll try these two at the same time just to see which finishing is actually a lot better for my skin type so if you guys want to see how these two foundations last and just keep on watching. Okay, so this is the condition of my skin at the moment. I'm having a lot and a lot of acne issues, a lot of tiny bumps, which I'm trying to figure out how to remove because it's not like huge cystic acne, it's just textured surfaces and it's just really, really annoying. And as you can see, I have a lot of scarring going on. That's just because of my itchy fingers. I think since when I was in high school or in secondary school, I always had this issue with pimples and I cannot stop popping them. I know it's a terrible habit and I really shouldn't but yeah, it, it is what it is and that's why it has caused scarring. If you guys know anything about acne or cystic acne, the moment you pop it is definitely going to leave a scar. So if you're someone like me, I hope you can relate to this problem but yeah. Um, the scarring issue is caused by that so I'm just trying to be more careful and use more sensitive products so that I can slowly rectify the problem. So in any case, back to the foundation review, on this side I'll be trying the Any Cushion and on this side I'll be trying the AC Cleanup Cushion. So yeah, I think for starters I'm just going to use the AC Cleanup one on the left side. So this is the finish it gives. As you can see, it's pretty medium coverage and it's also neutralizing a lot of my problematic areas. The first thing to note is that this has a very strong scent of a herbal kind of ingredient. It smells a bit like something herby, so yeah, if you don't like that scent, you might not like this. But on the skin, it feels really gentle and also doesn't strike me as something that is too harsh on the skin. So yeah, this is how it looks. I think it matches me really, really well. and. Yeah, natural beige is definitely for people who are NC25 and above. So as you can see, it's pretty similar in terms of tone. At the moment, it's giving me quite a tacky finish. I think this isn't a super full coverage kind of a cushion, but it doesn't make my skin look too dried out or even dehydrated. It actually just glides all over those problematic areas. So yeah, I'm just going to proceed to using the any cushion on this side. So as you can see, the previous one was a true cushion foundation, literally just soaked in foundation liquid. This one has a kind of veil over it, so as you can see, it's a little different. I think I pushed way too hard. A lot of liquid came out. So I'm not too sure if beneath the surface is actually a cushion or is it just a whole load of cream foundation, but I definitely pushed too hard that a lot of the product seeped out through the side. So I'm just going to apply it on this side.
it's not too warm in undertones, actually quite peachy that it brightens up the complexion. As I mentioned, when you first open it, don't think that you can press too hard into the contact. A lot of product actually came out, so I'm going to have to clean that up a little later. But as you can see, it gives a really, really dewy finish and it brightens up the complexion significantly. Likewise, I think this one had to build up to a more intense finish, but I think that taking your time and building upon areas where you need coverage does build up the intensity to about a medium coverage, nothing too full coverage. As you can see, I have a few blemishes peeking through, but I actually don't mind that much. If you like a really creamy kind of a formula, which is really hydrating and tacky, you might like this. On this side, it kind of is starting to set. It's not as tacky as before, but it's still a little bit, how would I put it? It's still a little bit wet, so it's not matte. But yeah, this side is even more tacky than this side. So this is the AC cleanup side. As you can see, it matches me pretty well. It's a little dark, but it has a very nice yellow undertone, so I like that. This side is a lot more brightened, and it's not as full coverage or as provide me that desired coverage with my acne issues. And yeah, so it just looks like skin, and it just popped up the skin condition in terms of giving it a bit of radiance and brightness, but it did not come cover up a lot of things so that's a little disappointing so as you can see I'm not sure which side you guys prefer but yeah I'm liking the AC cleanup one at this point so I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup try to make this a little more cohesive and I'll get back to you Okay, so that's all the makeup done and as you can see, both sides don't exactly match. This side's a lot brighter and this side's a lot more yellowy in undertone. So as I applied it, there's a few things that I would like to say. For one, this side did continue to set a little better. It isn't as tacky but it still is a little bit moisturizing so that's a good point in the beginning of the day just so that if you're in an air-conditioned environment or a colder climate, this wouldn't dry out throughout the day. As for this side, it did not set too much so it just remained really tacky and as I applied my powdered product on top, it was really really chalky. So if you're going to use the any cushion, just set the whole face with a light dusting of powder before applying powdered product. Products. But on this side, even though I did not apply any powder to set it, it applied really smoothly and also it did not look patchy so my contour was really easy to apply as well as the highlight, it did not come out too chunky. So as you can see on both sides, it really is dependent on what kind of skin you have. I suggest that if you're someone like me with problematic skin then maybe the AC cleanup would be better if you can look past the smell at the beginning which I mentioned was really herbally and it smelled a little bit like medicine. So on this side it is for people I feel with really good skin and also with dry skin so if you are one you might really really enjoy this so I think at the beginning of the day it's about 7 a.m. and both are looking really good at this point so at the end of the day I'll just check back in to see which has last and held up a lot better so I'll just see you guys Okay, so it's about 5 p.m. and this is how my skin looks. As you can see on the side with the any cushion, a lot of my blemishes are showing and especially this one. So it doesn't last that well. Also, I'm looking really, really shiny on this side as compared to this side. This side looks like a all-over even radiance that's slowly seeping through, but that's just actually my oils. I think the AC Cleanup formulation does help to deter an overproduction of oil, so it just keeps your skin really naturally hydrated without looking too greasy. So as you can see, it looks really put together and very polished. Compared to this side, I think that if you have really good skin, then this would be an issue because it does wear away pretty evenly but for people with acne prone skin or a lot of acne issues like me you will start to see a lot of them starting to surface and if I had to pick one that you should pick up definitely the AC cleanup one because it's more suitable for people with acne prone skin and also if you're commonly dehydrated this will really really help your skin in many ways so yeah not much else to add so I think that if I had to give the any cushion a grading I would give it about 
a 6 out of 10. It's alright, but if you are someone with acne prone skin, this might not be one for you. And for the AC cleanup, I'll give it about an 8 out of 10 because it's looking really good and also has last for a very good amount of time. So yeah, I have not much else to add and if you guys enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So with that, I'll see you guys. Bye!